Hi, thanks for watching my blog. I'm Brenda Watson. It's now midsummer, and here in Florida, it's hot and it's humid. With this weather comes an increase in mosquitoes, especially with all the rain this year. Every store, from Target to Walmart, and even grocery stores, have numerous displays of the most popular brands of insect repellents. For a long time now, the active ingredient in most of these insect repellents designed to be sprayed on your skin, which takes in toxins, is a chemical called DEET. Until recently, there has been questions on whether DEET was really a safe enough chemical to be spraying in the air and all over ours and our children's bodies. Personally, I never felt this type of chemical was safe enough. Last week, a team of researchers found the chemical DEET to be toxic to the central nervous system. They explained that this chemical is not simply a behavior-modifying chemical, but it inhibits the activity of a key central nervous system enzyme called acetylcholinesterase in both insects and mammals. This last part is of crucial importance because they found that this chemical does not just affect the insects, as once believed, but has an effect on humans as well. They also found that DEET interacts with other insecticides, which it is often combined with and increases their toxicity as well. This does not sound like something I want to take a can of and spray all over my young grandchildren. There is enough exposure to toxic chemicals in our environment without purposely spraying them all over ourselves. There are some alternatives to these toxic laden sprays that do not contain DEET. Products like Gone from Aubrey or a product called Bite Blocker from the manufacturer Holmes use essential oils that are known to repel bugs, including mosquitoes, gnats, and ticks. These products work well and are safe for children. Burt's Bees also makes another product. Look for these safe alternatives in your local health food store or online and have a safe, bug-free summer. Thank you for watching.